Hey guys, Glockster42, Scale Model Alberta Channel. Well, it's time to do some weathering on these uh, on this 41 Chevy. So we're going to use the uh, hairspray technique. So uh, if you watch my video from the other day, you'll see that we've got our uh, we've got our rust base down. We've got some paint flick, some uh, rust splatter on it. We've got uh, built up a three-dimensional uh, rust look to it. So what we're going to do now is get ready to paint this and actually do some weathering on it. Now the first thing that you need to do that's very important after that you've uh, let your paint cure out is coat it with a uh, enamel clear. I use a flat clear. Uh, you can use dull, dull coat or even gloss coat if you're so inclined. But it has to be uh, a non-water based. I've actually used uh, Army Painter on this uh, works great a little little pricey but uh, I really like it it goes on nice and flat and you I haven't seen anything uh, any problems like I've had with dull coat in the past so the big thing is you need to coat this and protect the paint uh, from all the work that you're gonna do on top of it I wouldn't use future um, future is pretty good but uh, maybe not the best thing for this uh, use a gloss a dull coat or a gloss coat or anything that's more of an enamel based and then of course good old hairspray this is just thermosilk pick this up for a dollar at the dollar store um, you can spray it right out of the uh, right out of the bottle or you can decant it and put it in the airbrush that's what I'm gonna do it just gives you a little bit more control and uh, it just it works a little bit better for me at least out of the airbrush alright there you can see we've got the uh, the body hit with the hairspray it's a little bit shiny yet still hasn't uh, flashed off yet and totally dried we've got the body done there and the box there is ready to go you've seen the other night when I did the uh, the rust video on that the box is ready sorry for the arm guys and then the uh, the cab here we are I'm kinda standing off kilter here guys so things are kinda looking a little wonky to you and I've also um, done a little bit on the dash I'm gonna make the dash look all faded out and old so uh, we'll get back to this hood just start on the hood. So we're going to be using Tamiya paints. Um, I, I would, you may, let's just put it this way. I have had the best results using Tamiya paints. A Vallejo Model Air just don't react like a Tamiya paint does. And honestly, the last time I used the Model Air brand trying to do a do this technique, it really turned out a mess. So stick with Tamiya paints. For this um, for this technique, I can't speak of uh, a testers acrylic or polyscale or any other acrylics, but from my experience, this is definitely the best method uh, for hairspray technique. Is in fact using the Tamiya paints. So let's get some paint mixed up and we'll get going. Now the first color we're going to shoot on here is Tamiya's XF19 Sky Gray. Now, I've noticed a lot on a lot of the older vehicles. You can see uh, um, they tend, I think they tended to use uh, Detroit tended to use a light gray primer as opposed to a red primer. So I'm going to shoot that on just in the peripherals of where the paint has already been uh, weathered off because on this um, on this hood here, this whole general top portion of the hood is going to be all rust. That's uh, the flat surfaces generally take, take the most damage and take the biggest hit. So we're just going to be painting along the edges with this gray. We may wander off into a bit a little bit deeper here and there in the back just to give it a nice little uh, a washed out effect. So I'm not going to bore you with the full painting on this guys but I'll just give you a quick uh, look of how this is going to go. I like to mix my Tamiya paints very, very thin. Now the big thing is with the hairbrush technique, guys, is don't be stingy with your paint. It works better with a good, solid coat of paint on there to, to work off. If you try and get it light, it's just not going to look. It's just not going to go real well for you. All right, so I'll just uh, carry on here, guys. Okay, guys, we've got the Tamiya paint all on. 
one thing I got to warn you about is don't get your uh, initial coat on too thick because if you get it on too wet you'll see it starts to crack now let's there we are you see it starts to crack I got a little bit too thick on there you want to build this first layer of Tamiya paint up really nice and thin very light layers and uh, just easy easy does it when you're building this up you don't want to really overwhelm it with um, with color and wetness or else you do run the risk of having that color pull up on you so uh, I still am not decided on my blue but I think I will go for that uh, darker you know what I just made a big decision here I was gonna go for a dark blue but I'm gonna go to a much much lighter blue I just think it's gonna pop a little bit better I'm gonna use Tamiya X 14 sky blue and uh, I'm gonna fade it out a bit I didn't uh, clean my cup out really well with the um, the last color the gray so that'll be fine it'll give it just a slightly a slightly watered down effect or not watered down a um, washed out look and let's face it paint that's been uh, left out in the sunshine for quite a while definitely gets that faded out washed out look now I found last time I shot some of this uh, Tamiya gloss on it actually came out kind of pebbly so I've thinned it down considerably more and we'll get some color on this I like this this blue it just it pops a little bit more than the, than the darker color I think oh yeah that's gonna be really cool with the gray it's almost gone to a, a turquoise -y look all right let me get some color built up on that and we'll come back and take a look see Okay, you can see we've got the, pretty much the hood where I want it to be. Um, the trouble is, is that it looks like brand new paint on a rusty hood. So let's uh, let's just weather this down a bit. We added a little bit of gray into it, so we're just going to add some blue, some fading, to make this blue look a little less jump up in your face. There, I like that. I like that a lot. So you want to really you want to keep in mind where you're going to do it. Are you going to do it on surfaces that probably didn't see a whole bunch of uh, sun? Probably not. So you want to keep that in mind of where the sun was shining on this. Now something like the hood here, or the cab, I should say, the roof, of course, is going to be sun faded, and that's probably going to be about it for sun fading. Maybe a little bit on the doors. So you want to keep in mind too when you're doing a fading a fade color on this of where exactly the sun is going to hit. The upper surfaces, basically what you're doing is you're just adding highlights. And you're going to want to just kind of think of where is the sun going to hit. There, that's about all it for fading. Alright guys, the moment of truth. This has been uh, trying for a little bit now. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go we're going to go big because we know I want I know I want all this stuff in the middle off. Well, that's kind of why I left it really light. I knew I wanted this middle section to be cleaned right off. Wow, that looks pretty good. <laughs>
clean your brush off and don't get really don't get really rammy with it. Use a light subtle touch. And a little bit of a Q-tip or one of the blue shop towels. Oh, wow. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Not bad. Now we got a lot more to do yet because we got this has to be streaked. This is just the first step in this weathering process, guys. You've got to add rain streaks. I'm gonna add a lot of washes yet. But as you can see, I hope this still is in frame yet. Good deal. I'm kind of doing it doing it cockeyed guys. Uh, don't try and do it all at once. Or else you'll get or else you'll end up with great big huge chunks of paint coming off whereas you want to keep it fairly subtle I can, I, granted I wanted this big section in the hood to be washed out I knew I wanted that so that's exactly what I got now you'll see this little See, so that's just that uh, simple, guys. Hairspray technique is really quite easy. Um, I'll get this paintbrush out of my mouth. But uh, just go over that. Keep it subtle. Keep it light. And just remember where the rust is going to be and where the rust may not be. So, um, you know what? I think that's going to be it for hairspray technique. Um, well, there we have it, guys. There's the hood. Passenger side. Driver side. Top of. This camera doesn't really do justice, but it looks freaking awesome. There's the hood. There's the cab. Really happy with the way the cab turned out. So the big thing is just to go ahead and take your time. But uh, I would suggest doing your... Uh, panels in your your vehicle and sections like the uh, on this one the cab the hood and the um, box were in this light blue color and then the fenders were black by the time I got to the fenders the black had cured up pretty good and didn't quite come out quite as subtle but that's okay because it just looks a little bit differently Sorry, excuse the hands guys but as you can see the the top of it looks just I was out at the wreckers here couple weeks ago and taking pictures of vehicles and you get a lot of that in the big flat surfaces and I even did the dash I wanted it more sun faded than anything uh, come on focus no not gonna focus for me it's gonna focus down here let's just zoom in a bit on that here there there's the dash I didn't want to rest the dash I just wanted to make it look really faded because um, the windows are still all intact in this so we just uh, kind of put a light gray green underneath it and then pulled the blue up off top now it still needs to be detail painted but um, hairspray technique for a, a wicked weathering job guys that's the way to go so don't be afraid, try, afraid to try new things um, I'm happy as hell with this. It turned out pretty much exactly how I had envisioned it it would. So like I say, just some detail stuff to do and and um, throw some flat clear on it and get it clear flattened out. And uh, call this good. I gotta go to work here in a couple days again, darn it. I was hoping I'd have a week off, but not quite. So there's the hood again. So like I say, I'm really, really happy with this. Just a matter of... Uh, Getting your rust color down, throwing, sealing it with uh, enamel, throwing some uh, hairspray on it, and uh, 
then putting some team of paint down and scrubbing it off with a wet, uh, stiff bristle brush, guys. All right, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to try and get this posted here right Chicken Louie, I think. And uh, we'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks. Take care. Bye.